this is a Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem from conformal mapping. Okay. Problem. Find the image of a circle mod z equals to 1 under mapping omega equals to z plus 2 plus 4i. Okay. So we have to find the image of the circle mod z equals to 1 under mapping omega equals to z plus 2 plus 4i. Okay. So, we'll be having mod z equals to 1, a circle in z plane. And we have to check the image which is transformed in the omega plane using omega equals to z plus 2 plus 4i transformation. Okay. Fine. Before going to the problem, let's see. An important note. Equation of a circle with center h, comma k and radius r is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Okay. If you get any equation in this form, then you have to consider it as a circle with center h and k and radius r. Okay, good. Now coming to the problem. Solution. So we are given a circle. Given circle mod z equals to 1. And transformation. Omega equals to z plus 2 plus 4i. Okay. We have z equals to x plus i y and omega equals to u plus i v. Okay. Now consider the circle mod z equals to 1. Okay. Now we can replace z equals to x plus i y. Since mod z equals to mod a plus i b, which is equals to a square plus b square, then mod x plus i y can be written as square root of x square plus y square, which is equals to 1. Now, squaring on both sides. By squaring on both sides, we'll get square, square and square root gets cancelled. We'll get x square plus y square equals to 1, which is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 1. Okay, if you want, you can... Write it as x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square which is equals to 1 square which is of the form x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to 1 square which is a circle with center 0 comma 0 that is origin and the radius 1. Okay. Consider it as Equation 1, which is a circle with center 0, 0, that is origin and radius. radius Okay, good. Now, let us consider the transformation. Okay, consider the transformation. Omega equals to z plus 2 plus 4i. Since we are having z equals to x plus i y and omega equals to 
u plus iv now replace omega with u plus iv and z with x plus iy so you'll get u plus iv equals to x plus iy plus 2 plus 4i okay this becomes u plus iv equals to x plus 2 now take i common from these two terms then you get i into y plus 4 okay now equating real and imaginary parts equating real and imaginary parts we get u equals to x plus 2 and v equals to y plus 4 okay so here u equals to x plus 2 is our real part and v equals to y plus 4 is a imaginary part. Okay. Real part u equals to x plus 2. From this you will get x equals to u minus 2. Okay, now imaginary part, you are having imaginary part v equals to y plus 4, from this you will get y equals to v minus 4, okay. So we are having equation 1 x square plus y square equals to 1 square. This is our 1, okay? We will be using later. Fine. So you are having x and y values. Good. Now, substitute. x and y values in equation 1. We get since we are having x square plus y square equals to 1, right? So we are going to substitute the values of x and y which we have got from real and imaginary parts. So substitute x equals to u minus 2 whole square plus y equals to v minus 4 whole square equals to 1. Okay. So from this you will get u minus 2 whole square plus v minus 4 whole square equals to 1 can be written as 1 square which is of the form u minus h whole square plus v minus some k whole square equals to r square which is a circle with center 2 and 4 and radius 1. Okay. Since you are having u and v so this will be a circle in omega plane. Okay. So this is our circle in omega plane which is a circle with center 2 comma 4 and radius 1 in omega plane 
okay so this is our equation 2 see this is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2 u minus 2 whole square plus b minus 4 whole square equals to 1 square okay So let's consider two planes Z and omega plane. Z plane, omega plane. Okay, in the Z plane we are having a circle with center 0, 0 origin and radius 1. And in the omega plane we are having from equation 2, center is 2 comma 4 and radius r equals to some 1. Okay. So, let's consider two axes x and y with center 0 comma 0 and at radius some 1 draw a circuit at radius 1 okay 1 1 so this is a point okay it's not a small circuit don't consider it as a circuit it's just a point center and one is a radius okay so this is a circuit which is a Z plane. So it is transformed to. Now consider two axes. With, okay, two axes U and V. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 1. With center 2 comma 4. 2 and 4. Okay. I'll take it smaller unit. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Good. So now we have to draw a circle with center 2 comma 4, 2 and 4. So this will be the center 2 comma 4 and with radius 1 draw a circuit. Okay with radius 1 exactly 1. This is our center right. Center 2 comma 4 and r equals to 1. Okay. So the circle is transformed to the circle with center 2 comma 4 and radius 1. Okay. So the image of Z plane mod Z equals to 1 is transformed to a circle with center 2 comma 2 and radius 1 in the omega plane. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from conformal mapping in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.